So what is zero and how do you mine it? Well, let's find out. Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. Thank you for clicking on and watching this video. So today we're gonna to look into the Project Zero. Gonna see uh, the wallets involved, how to mine it, price, what you can expect to make in a 24 hour period, things of that nature. And also I'm going to pick a winner for this week's Bitcoin Fridays. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe, click that notification bell. And if you like this kind of content, hammer those likes. Now let's get into it. All right, so if you've been with me for any amount of time, you know I like to do a lot of speculative coin mining. I'm always on the lookout for the next latest and greatest coin. Well, I found a coin called Zero. It's been out for a long time. It looked like the project was dead and it appears as though the community brought it back from the dead. So I'm gonna briefly look into the actual project and then I'll show you guys how to get started mining this right away. So without further ado, let's hop in and check out the Project Zero. All right, so here we are on their Bitcoin talk. As usual, all of these links will be down below so you don't have to search for anything, including the bat files. All right, so on their Bitcoin talk, just gonna scroll down real quick, just have few things highlighted here. Our main focus as a team and community is to remain as transparent as we can possibly be and to maintain an interactive relationship with everyone involved. We are fully open to the project, listening to all suggestions from investors, miners, and supporters. So one of my recent videos is how I find these coins and one of the ways is kind of a rare way I find it, but I'll go over to what to mine and sometimes a coin will pop up that I haven't seen before or haven't seen in a long time. And when I put my NVIDIA rig in, which is a 1066 gig, 1070 Ti and two 1660 Ti's, hit calculate, I came up here and there's zero. I haven't heard of that before, so I looked into it. And of course, here we are and showing you guys how to mine it. All right, so let's head over to the actual website. Real quick, if you guys heard about Zero, if you have, type a yes down below. If no, type a no. I'm always interested to know what projects you guys have heard of and what you guys are doing out in the cryptocurrency space. So answer that real quick below before we go on. Your transactions are your business. Zero fees, instant and private transactions, open source, and available to all. Here you got a list of their partners here. Just goes over the actual features. This is a privacy coin built off of the blockchain and Zcash technology. We go over to about. About us, Zero offers total payment confidentiality while still maintaining a decentralized network using a public blockchain. Zero combines Bitcoin security with Zcash's anonymity and privacy. Zero stands out from the competition as a fully working product that has already implemented a set of special features not found in any other cryptocurrency. And this goes over why zero, what zero is, etc., etc. Something I highlighted here: science behind zero. At the core of zero technology is zero knowledge proofs. This allows transaction data to be validated without revealing information about the amount and parties involved. Zero uses specific zero knowledge proofs called ZK snarks. Zero knowledge succinct non-interactive arguments of knowledge. Zero is built on a strong science and audited meticulously by third parties. It is an open source protocol built by a security specialized engineering team and originally based on Bitcoin Core's battle-tested code base. And it just shows you their team and things of that nature. Again, all of these links will be down below, but that is a brief overview of Zero. Let's get into how to mine it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need is obviously an actual wallet. 
here are the two versions of the wallet, the simple wallet and the swing wallet. Simple wallet if you don't want to download the full node and of course the swing wallet if you want to download the full node. So for me though, I went ahead and used Zellcore. Zellcore hosts their actual coin and here's their actual wallet, which is right here. And as you can see, zero right here. So all you gotta do is click on receive and click that and it'll copy the wallet address for you. I like these multi-coin wallets. It's, it, when you do a lot of speculative coin mining and you're downloading in all these wallets, it takes up a lot of space on your computer slash mining rig. So something like Zellcore or Exodus that's got over a hundred different coins that you can load into there, it makes it nice for speculative coin mining. All right, so next we're going to need to find out what kind of miner we need to mine this actual project. So the miner involved is G Miner right here, latest version 1.7.3. So you're just going to go ahead and click on Windows 64 Zip if you have a Windows machine. If you don't, it's Linux 64. So you go ahead and download that to your computer or a mining rig. I have this running on my NVIDIA rig right here. You can see it's going right now. I put it in its own wallet called G Miner 173 underscore zero. And the nice thing about G Miner it already has a bad file right there. So it's already ready to go. You just need to go ahead and edit that file. And the only thing you're gonna to need to change is your actual wallet address, which is right there. And if you're using Zellcore, you've got that right there. And if you actually download their wallet, you just get their wallet address from your standalone wallet. Obviously that'll be fine. Uh, .nvidia rig right there, that's just a rig identifier. If you want to leave that blank, you can, or you can just name it your rig, computer name, whatever you want to do. I like putting a rig identifier so when I pull it up on the pool, I know that I am connected. The next thing that is optional, if you want to, you can change the actual mining pool. So the pool I'm using right now is Echo Hub Pro right here. And here's a full list of the actual pools that you can use. There's Echo Hub Pro and Zerg Pool. I usually try and spread around the hash rate, but these are so close and they, they actually have watched it for about the last hour and they will actually flip flop. But there's a decent amount of pools here that have some hash rate on it to, that you can choose from. So just pick whatever pool you want. You'll have to click on the link, go over to the pool and get their actual server address which is if you pull up my winer right here you're just gonna have to change this right here us.echohub.pro and then you'll actually have to change the port as well or you could just leave it that way that's fine but that's the only thing you're going to need to edit if you want to change the pool and of course you're going to need to change your wallet address when everything is ready to go all you do is click file and save and you should be good to go and to get it up and mining, you just go ahead and double click on that file and the miner will pull up and it'll look like this and it'll find what kind of cards you have and then it'll be up and mining away. If you guys want to know the actual overclocks I'm using for this algorithm, which is Equihash 192 underscore 7. This is my 1070 Ti. I've got 100 plus 100 on the core plus 800 on the memory with a negative 35 undervolt. 1066 gig is also a negative 3500 volt, 100 core and plus 600 on the memory, and both 1660 Ti's is a negative 25 power limit, plus 100 core and plus 1000 memory. All right, so we go back over to the pool. All you gotta do is paste your wallet address in right there and click enter and it'll pull up your actual stats. And if you scroll down, you'll see there's my rig identifier in video rig. All right, so that's the wallet, the miner, the pools. Again, here's an additional list of pools if you guys wanna pick up another one and start mining there, that's up to you. Let's now look into the actual price. Here we are in coin market cap. We're sitting at about 17 cents right now for one zero. Rank of 819, max supply 17 million, which is very nice, it's a very low supply. And as you can see, back in the last uh, bull market, we were up to, Geez, but almost $9 a coin and we're sitting about 17 cents right now. So it really has a nice upside if we hit another bull run 
and a market goes up like crazy. You never know with these kind of things. I will be mining and holding this one for a little while. Now let's go and see how much you can expect to make in a 24 hour period. All right, so we're over on miner stat. As you can see, I've already got my hashes in here. Power consumption, pool fee, and how much my electric is. And you just click calculate. Again, this link will be down below as well if you want to go ahead and find this information out for yourself. So we're grossing $1.68 a day or profit of 79 cents. Looks like we're going to get a little over nine zero in a 24 hour period. If we go over to what to mine, it's saying about 11.6. And I'd be taking on 96 cents, but maybe that just dropped down because of the actual, maybe a little bit of a dip in the price right here, down 4%. Who knows, but it's pretty close to what, what the mine says. This is a really good tool for seeing the profitability on various coins. All right, so now let me hop into my mobile studio and pick a winner for this week's Bitcoin Fridays. All right, so here we are on the dashboard. Let me go ahead and click on all giveaways. All right, so we had 65 total contestants this week, 1,576 entries. Let me go to manage giveaway. All right, so like I say every week, if you don't win this week, don't worry about it. I do this every week. So all I gotta do is click draw. Just make sure you subscribe. You hit that notification bell and you're subscribed to the email list as well. All right, guys, good luck. All right, so John. Congratulations on winning this week's Bitcoin Fridays. Let me go ahead and confirm, John. All right, so John has been confirmed. Let me go ahead and notify John. All right, John, you should be getting a notification email. Just respond to that with your Bitcoin wallet address, and I will send your winnings on over. Thank you for playing. Thanks, everybody, for playing. I really appreciate that. Be sure to check out my speculative coin mining series. Should be coming up here shortly. Got well over 100 videos in there. If you guys have any questions or comments, be sure to put them down below and I will definitely get back to you. Again, if you should happen to be new here, be sure to subscribe, click that notification bell, and if you like this video, hammer those likes. All right, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.